What's up, YouTube? I'm Super Dan the Shoe Man, back with another video today. I've got no cameraman. All of my kids are gone, and they're gonna be gone for almost the rest of the summer. And it's kind of bittersweet. But we can talk more about that in a little bit, uh, or in another video. Today, I've got a really special video for you today, because it's another one of, like, my, one, another one of the shoes that, like, has my heart. First, though, a word from my sponsor. Vadim has been commenting on a lot of my videos, had a lot of people commenting on a lot of my videos. I really appreciate the engagement. Vadim, though, said that he really likes Romans 1620. I think he said he wanted me to talk about it, so let's talk about it real quick. I'm going to read 1620. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Uh, it took me a minute. Like, I read it, and I was, like, praying about it, trying, trying to think of, you know, what does this mean to me? What does God have to tell me about that? I read a little bit before that, too. This is, this is verse 19. Everyone's heard about your obedience, and uh, this is Paul's church, Paul's letter to the church in Rome. Everyone's heard about your obedience, so I rejoice because of you, but I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. The God of peace will soon, this is 20, the God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The Lord grace, the, the grace of our Lord Jesus will be with you. He wasn't talking to just anybody. He was talking to a church, a group of believers that were being obedient to God's call, because I don't think God's going to crush the head of Satan under just anybody's feet. But what I also really like about it is that God is doing it, but it's our feet, or, or in this case, the feet of the church in Rome. And But it, it's our feet. It's humans' feet. Uh, Christian, obedient Christians' feet. He's using us. And I, I hope that's what we're doing, what I'm doing with this channel. He's using me for something important. Uh, we'll see how, maybe we'll see, maybe we won't see how important it is one day. But I know that it has importance because he's blessed me with all of this uh, this favor. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These you've already seen. The seven new boxes here that I need to open and make some videos on. I've got, I think, two more on the way. And uh, there's more stuff. I mean, and, and I'm not just buying everything and, you know, spending thousands and thousands of dollars because I would I would be bankrupt by now. I would have had to file bankruptcy. Would would have lost my house and all that good stuff. And that, that hasn't happened. So, uh, again, it's favor. And I think Ms. Chung has talked about how I'm so lucky. It's, it's not luck, it's favor. All right, so this is a shoe I picked up today. I talked about this shoe, I think like a month ago, because I walked into the Kids Foot Locker at Arbor Place Mall. And can you see that? Yeah, Kids. Kids Foot Locker at Arbor Place Mall. And it was sitting on the shelf. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I need a six and a half. Go give me the six and a half. And as uh, as the guy went back, I, I know the manager there. I didn't know the guy's name who I was talking to. I'd seen him a few times. I just didn't know his name. But I, I, he went back to go get it. And the manager comes back and he's like, oh, this isn't supposed to be on the shelf till January. And I was like, come on, you're going to do me like that? Because it got me really excited. Um, if any of y'all know how to get in touch with Brent Childress, uh, he's a buddy of mine from high school. I, I, know, I think some of my buddies from high school watch the channel. So if y'all know how to get in touch with him now that he's... His Instagram was hacked. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to message him on Instagram anyway. Um, but get in touch with him because when these come out in men's sizes, I told him that I'd get him one. I don't even remember the size. I think I can find the size that he needed. But this, again, is a six and a half because this only came out in grade school. And uh, this is the Air Max Penny grade school. Black, Varsity, Royal, and White. Brent had this. I think he was the only person in our school that had this in the 90s. Whenever it was mid-90s, it was about 95, 96. And I really wanted a pair. I don't know why I didn't get a pair, because my dad brought me pretty much everything I wanted at the time. Thanks, Papa. Um, because he wanted me to go fishing with him. So, uh, But I didn't get these. And these just hold... I don't know why Brent's shoes hold a, a special place for me. But I can't wait to look at these. I, I got a glimpse of them on the shelf. Or not on the shelf. When he took them out of the box to make sure they were the same size. But I, I stayed away on purpose. Because I can't wait. Oh, these are dirty on the bottom. What the heck? All right, well, I don't care. I don't care. Um, Wear Testers just posted their video on the adult size today because um, this is the day they released, but nobody released these in uh, in men's that I that I could see. But this is the Penny One, Penny being Anthony Hardaway. He was on the Orlando Magic, so this is I think this is the away color uh, shoe, but this is the Orlando colorway. And like I said, there's just something about this. This reminds me of the Concord and the Jordan, which is the Jordan 11 and the Jordan 12. I think it probably looks more like a Jordan 12. We got a taxi or a royalty right here. I think you can see that. 
it kind of has this, you know, this, this other piece of color here. Um, and I think that's why it's always reminded me of the 12 and the 12 was my, my second Jordan. So, uh, this is an Air Max. So it's got the Air Max bubble back here, but it's also, I'm not sure about the zoom or the, the kids size, man, these are worn, whatever. I'm not sure about the kid sizes, but, uh, it has a, a zoom. It's supposed to have a zoom here and a zoom in the forefoot too, which should make it really comfortable. And uh, wear tester said it was really comfortable. Zoom is is really comfortable. I actually wore. I don't think you can see it. I wore. I can, I can grab this one. I wore the low today, not the high. Um, I had to go to the to the to the doctor for the doctor to to look at baby Trent. Um, I don't think Haley likes these. This is six and a half, so this is Haley and Hesper size. I don't think Haley likes this. I don't think Hesper's gonna like it either. I think she told me she didn't like it. So this might have to stay, stick around here for Atticus when he can wear this. It'll probably only be a year or so before he can wear this. But this is just, this is a sentimental piece for me. Even if he destroys it, we're gonna keep it. Um, so let's see, this is mostly Nubuck up here. Oh, I, meant to, I meant to clean this off. I wear this to, I was wearing this to Atticus's uh, kickball games because it's Nubuck. I'm sorry, Durabuck, which this is also Durabuck, I think, which is fake leather. So it's easier to clean, and I, I just haven't cleaned it, so it's full of dirt. Uh, but this, and this, this is like the low-key 90s fire pack. Low-key 90s fire pack. You get the up-tempo, the Jason Kidd Zoom Flight, and the Penny One. So... Uh, again, this is the same type material as this. It's all fake leather. I think it's the same as this too. And this colorway though, I don't really like the other colors. This colorway did it for me. The Orlando colorway of the Penny 2, didn't like it. And then we moved to, I think it was then, I don't think there was a Penny 3. I think we moved to the foam posits after that. Never liked foam posits. I know some of y'all have asked me here. Other people have asked me before. I just don't like foams. So, uh, but these, these, these are it. Um, one of the big differences that they didn't do the same from the OG, they, they retro these in 20, like 10 years ago. And I don't think they did it then either. This air bubble like was huge back in the day. It popped way out around the foot, around the, the, the midsole. It doesn't do that anymore, but I don't really care about that. Uh, Chris had said that this was like marshmallow -y. It's not, not on the, not on the grade school at least, but what else? Uh, love this just the look of the, the outsole with the big swoosh all the way across it so this one this one just holds a special place in my heart hopefully they'll, they'll release the the men's i'm gonna get my pair too this one i think was 140 though and the men's is 170 so pretty expensive for the air max but it's worth it for something that that you really like um i never knew what was in this swoosh there's some black lines in there sorry we can't get any close up right now i'll try to get some b-roll put it at the end so you can see also the, the shoe is dirty on the bottom. I think I can probably clean that off. We got a little bit of glue up here by the, the toe on the midsole. I guess that's the outsole. Uh, a little bit of glue pretty much everywhere, but this isn't a shoe that I really care about that with. Um, I'm about to record because half of these boxes, no, actually all these boxes, I think. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, seven, maybe. We have six or seven pairs of, uh, this is the Jordan 4 infrared here. Three of those are grade schools. I want to compare all the grade schools because they were trash, like made like trash. I got one terrible picture. I'm going to show you. I'll record that one in a little bit. Um, but this one was going to be recorded first because this one goes up tomorrow. Uh, there's plastic. Uh, it's kind of like the cat eye. It's not, it's not holographic, but it's kind of like the cat eye on the Jordan 13 there on the toe with a swoosh in the middle. You got Penny One or Scent Sign, I guess that's what it's called, but Penny One on the back. I love that logo. You put it on a Penny Two, though, I don't like it. So, uh, but I love it on this one. I love this piping here. It just gets this little white uh, hint through here. I don't know why. I just love the shoe. Um, I got one more of the Grails here. It's this one down here. And maybe we shouldn't be looking at that. Okay. Um, but. I'll open that one here soon too. And you see this is a smaller box because it's this size. Um, but it's a grail. Something I'm gonna need though very soon. 
more, more high score is going to mean soon. So we'll watch. We'll see that one soon. We got Yeezys. I'm going to make another Yeezy video pretty soon because I spent all week at the beach with Kanye. And uh, I, I really need to make this video for y'all because it's really changed my mind about the Yeezy slide. Um, but smash that like button if you like this shoe. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me what you think about Romans 1620. If, if you have an opinion or, or anything that God spoke to you about that verse, post it down below. Uh, like I said, smash the like button. Tell your grandma about the Penny One because she might have watched Anthony back in the day. I'll see you next time. <laughs> You're so pretty. Say bye. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>